1306 motors are really popular in the three inch class these days but they're already starting to run out of torque with the heavy tri-blade loads that we're putting on them rcx makes a 1407 38 kv motor the extra stator size should give this more torque and could potentially get more thrust than even the 4000 higher the higher kv version of the 1306 there's only one way to find out let's throw it on the bench and put it through its paces Mainly I want to look at the Rotorex tri-blades for this comparison because I think that's kind of my favorite prop on, on uh, the size of quad. And uh, the comparison looks really good. Uh, the 1407 gets about 500 RPM more peak thrust. The thrust is about the same, so I mean you can see that's a little, little inaccurate. The RPM is a better gauge there, but uh, even uh, the power draw, like we are looking at about 1 amp almost one amp less for essentially the same thrust and you can see slightly more thrust even on the uh, 1407 uh, 10 watts less draw and it does great things for our uh, efficiency as well going from 2.38 grams a watt to 2.59 grams a watt so that's a pretty big difference not so much in power because you can see we have basically the same power between the two but we're getting the same power and we're drawing less amps to do it so better flight times I did also throw on the Dowl 3040 tri-blade. This is the uh, the original tri-blade, not the cut down one from the three inch prop test that had uh, really heavy load, really poor efficiency, just to see if the extra torque of the motor would help that out any. And it does improve slightly, but it's still not a particularly good choice. You can see, yeah, same story here. We have about 500 more RPM. The thrust is just about the same. We're looking at uh, six grams between them. About 0.7 amps less, you know, less wattage. Grams per watt jump to 2.29, which is almost as good as the Rotor X on the 1306. It's slightly less thrust, slightly less efficiency, but not as bad. But that's only if you discount the gains that the Rotor X prop gets on the 1407. Looking at the efficiency charts of the uh, the Rotor X prop here, uh, you can see slightly, very low down, the 1306 does actually get slightly better efficiency, but it's very uh, quickly crossed by the 1407 version at about 18,000 RPM or so, uh, and maintains higher efficiency throughout. You can see we're drawing a lot less amps, uh, or well, less, less watts, 137 watts for the 1306 absolute peak, and 126 watts for the 1407. We're hitting higher RPM, we're getting less amp draw. This is just all around better over almost all of the RPM range there. This is where we're missing out on torque on that 1306 with a, the really heavy load. I do have the same chart here on the Dal Tri. Uh, it's the same story at uh, low RPMs, it's slightly, above, slightly better, and we have a crossover and uh, maintains higher efficiency. The difference is not as big, uh, like if we go back to the, the Rotor X, you can see there's more uh, space between these two graphs. So the efficiency gains aren't quite as great on this one, but you know we do have a very uh, large drop in uh, you know 10 watts less power and we're still getting more thrust out of it. Interesting to look at, uh, but probably a little less informative overall. This is the uh, RPM over time, so this is the full 25 seconds uh, of the test, and you can see where it starts and ramps up the uh, throttle and switches to full, full throttle. Interesting that the 1306 actually, over most of the throttle range, if you just compare uh, a similar throttle value, uh, does actually make uh, more power. We're, we're getting slightly higher RPM, you know, 600 RPM more here at uh, about 10 seconds into the test. But when it crosses over near the top and then in the sustained full throttle, you can see that it very clearly has, and that's where it makes up all of the difference. This in practice isn't going to matter so much because, well, your flight controller is in control of the throttle, and so it will automatically make up for this, you know, couple percent difference in thrust lower down, and you still have more higher up. Also, I thought interesting to look at here, if we zoom in just on the very tail of the test, 
this is the braking section just after the end of the uh, extended long uh, full throttle, we just chop it off to zero. So this isn't a perfect example of braking in flight because this is using a braking mode where it shorts the motor out, but it does show you the difference in torque. Short it out, basically you're using the motor to fight itself. And with the 1407 having higher torque, this is braking faster than the 1306 is. And if we switch this, you can really see how much quicker this 1407 drops down and here at uh, as it tails out to uh, to a full stop 15,000 rpm this is about a four millisecond gap and down around five this grows to about 11 milliseconds so it's not a uh, tiny thing where we're, we're talking about latency that's about half the latency of a s bus frame I also have the doll prop as well on the same test. So these are the same two charts that we were looking at at the last one. And this is the just the 1407 doll prop. And you can really see how that extra weight really slows down its braking performance here. Um, at 15K, this is like a 55 millisecond gap. And it, down at 5K, this grows to like 120 milliseconds or something like that. So the heavy prop is making a huge difference and all of these are uh, exactly the same the the ESC is told to stop and it's completely uh, shorted out all of the winding so this is stopping physically as fast as it possibly can so this is something that we'll hopefully be able to see and we'll go over in, in possibly a future video looking at the braking performance uh, that you'll actually see in the air uh, but that extra weight on that prop is a really huge difference. Just for kicks, I also threw it up on 4S and compare this against the 4S test that I, I did briefly on the 1306. This is a shorter test and it's only a, like a three second ramp up. And you see a similar thing that we do on the, the normal, the 3S comparison where the extra torque really makes a difference and here at the top end we're pushing 253 watts versus 280 watts for the 1306. So we're drawing less watts, we're getting higher RPM, making more power. Uh, this is a much more, if you're going to overload the motor, this is a much more appropriate motor to do it with. You get all the benefits and there are no drawbacks. We're not using more energy, we're not getting less thrust. Uh, also kind of interesting to, to look at, it was in the uh, the other charts as well, uh, but just hasn't, isn't uh, as like apparent until you look at this one. On the low side, what these spikes are is because this ramp happens so quickly uh, and it's not beginning from idle, this is starting from the prop at completely zero throttle. When it tries to go through this so quickly, this actually is the ESC having trouble syncing the prop. So it was desynced while it was ramping up, and you can see here only at about 22,000, 21,500 RPM is once the prop, the motor actually synced with the ESC, and here it synced a little sooner. But look at how much power that's drawing. We're pulling 167 watts here at, you know, 5,000 RPM. This is just down in, in, in idle, this is more watts than full throttle on 3S. So you can see just how damaging a desync can really be, like imagine when you have a desync at full throttle, you're pushing a ton of power in here and obviously you're not getting any RPM or, or thrust at all until you actually sync, sync up. So. Uh, starting from a dead stop can be really, really dicey if you don't have the, the settings right and the ESC isn't synced. So there you go. It's a pretty nice choice. If you're looking for more efficiency, it's not going to give you a ton more power compared to the 1306 uh, because of the slightly lower KV, but it will match the performance and give you better efficiency because you've got better, uh, more torque to spin the uh, heavy loads. The weight is pretty close on them. It's only about a two gram difference uh, on them out of the box and the 1407 has uh, longer power leads on it than the uh, 1306 does. So it's a little bit uh, that's in that that's not in the uh, motor itself. So that's uh, not a huge amount of weight difference, uh, especially when you're looking at, you know, 300 
grams of thrust per motor. You're only looking at about a 0.3% increase in weight for quite a bit more efficiency, you know, an ex extra amp per corner less that you're drawing. So uh, it's a pretty nice uh, option.